Some more studios 19 out here and today uh i did get some new games on black friday i also got something new uh to console guys but i'll get to that after when i show you the games oh and also unbox the games i might show a bonus clip of unboxing the console uh i think yeah so uh anyways let me get to the game so um for black friday uh today i got uh legend of zelda breath of the wild on nintendo switch uh, here's the story I actually had. You see, I actually used to own this game about, like, five years ago until in 2018, my copy got stolen because, I don't know why, uh, or I thought I lost it or something, I, I don't know. So anyways, uh, I actually have fond memories of playing this game. I, I do have a niece, which I'm not gonna say her name, but she's actually really good at Breath of the Wild. So, uh, so let's see what this is about. I got this for, uh, let me see. Oh yeah, uh, 29 bucks at Walmart today, uh, Black Friday. Yeah, so as you can see the purple tag, that's 29 bucks. Uh, for, well, for this year actually. It can change depend on the price of, well the color can change actually for what games are you gonna be getting or something like that on Black Friday. the game here we got uh one player and uh this is what we got for the we got the copy there now i have this friend from australia named super tate 2005 like his copy for some reason uh had a different cover to mine well this depends on the region you live in like this here is the north american version but there was actually a different design but that was for europe and asia and australia uh, rate E10 for E10. Everyone 10 plus. Todos plus 10. And it has fancy violence, mild suggestive themes, use of alcohol. That's for English. But for Spanish, it has violencia, fantasia, which is fantasy violence, temas insinuantes, moderados, mild suggestive themes, and uso de alcohol, use of alcohol. Because, well, depending on, it's probably from what you're cooking. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, but my friend, Super Tay 2005, his copy of Breath of the Wild just says M for mature for some reason. But, hey, it's Australia's rating system. What are you going to do about it? Yeah. So, and then, uh, the second game I got is, uh, it's actually the, uh, the recent Sonic game. just came out Sonic Frontiers, but this is what I got. Sonic Frontiers for PlayStation 5. Yeah. And, uh... Basically, I've seen videos on this game, and it's a pretty good game, though, even though it has some flaws, though. I have a friend, Sonic Rob. He actually has this game on PS4. He actually live-streamed it, so uh, I'll give you the link to his channel, so you can go see the live-streams, well, specifically past live-streams of Sonic Frontiers. And, uh, yeah. Let's see, the game has one player. 
26 gigabytes network features vibration function support yeah gigabytes can vary depending on what platform you play on for playstation 5 and xbox series x about like 26 gigabytes for ps4 and xbox one 24 but for nintendo switch it's a bit lower like 21 or something i don't know but this but this one actually loads faster than the ps4 and nintendo switch version but uh, I mainly get to get a PS5 because this thing loads about like 21 seconds or something. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, PS4 version takes a bit longer to load. Nintendo Switch loads a bit longer than PS5, but it loads a bit earlier than PS4. So yeah, let's get to the thingy. Oh, uh, why am I doing this, guys? Well, it's just my nails. This was 35 bucks. Uh, if you can see the green tag, that was 35 bucks for this year. Ooh. All right, so um, the game says Ray E10, everyone time plus, or oh, and phones and adults, or oh, no, 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 and phones and adults time plus has fantasy violence or uh, oh, in, in French, violence, violence, fictal, fictal, which is fantasy violence. So let's see what's in the inside. Uh, Oh, yeah. so, um, so as you guys hear, uh, this is the disc for the game. And, uh, ooh, and also, this thing also comes with Sonic 2. Uh, yeah. Oh, and the Adventurer's Treasure Box. It has a code on the back. Which includes blue seeds of defense, skill points, and the red seeds of power. Yeah, which, that was for the... Yeah. And then the last but not least, I actually did get a new console, which uh, it's the Nintendo Switch OLED model. See so that, Super Mario Studios 1990. Don't you already have a Nintendo Switch? Well, yes I do, but but my old one has a problem. And you thought, what's the problem? The problem is, well, it has lower the storage, 32 gigabytes. This one here has 64 gigabytes. It also, well, my Joy-Cons are broken, so I might use the Joy-Cons for this one, I think. Yeah, so, you got Super Mario Studios, what are you going to do with your old Switch? Well, I do get, I was thinking about getting new Joy-Cons for Christmas of this year, so once I get new Joy-Cons, I think I might sell it. You thought, where are you going to sell it? Well, depending on the place, what, if they're going to take it or not. Oh. Yeah, so, um, I don't know. I can't unbox it here because I'm worried that I might drop it. So, let's go unbox it at a table. So, let's get to my table. But wait, guys. Before we can go open the Nintendo Switch only model, so we're going to be opening up Sonic Frontiers. Uh, let me try getting this out of the case. On. Now let's get to the disc reading point to see if it reads it. Well, it is 26 gigabytes. Ah, yeah, Sonic Frontiers. QQ for copy. Yeah. Two items have been added to my download. Which includes uh, calculating, ready to play, and then installing. So. All right, guys, so I'm gonna download the code, so. But uh, right now when I'm off camera, so we're gonna be putting in the Nintendo Switch version. Well, specifically Breath of the Wild in my Nintendo Switch. This is my old Switch, which is going to be replaced with the OLED model right here. All right, guys, so we're about to put in uh, Breath of the Wild on my Nintendo Switch here. So i um, got the game here. 
And now let's put in the cartridge here. Inside the console. Alright, we got the copy of the game. So let's see what we need to do with it. I'm able to play it already. No update needed. So, yeah. So, let's finally get to the unboxing of the Nintendo Switch OLED model. Alright guys, so, um... We're here at a table right now, just like how I said we'd be unboxing the Nintendo Switch OLED model, so this is what it is. You guys, uh, we got the, I got the white Joy-Cons, uh, it does the same features like the old model does, so, uh, let's get to how it opens. Like this, like this, oh, let's see guys, this is what the console looks like. It has white Joy-Cons and a screen, so uh, let me see the Joy-Cons. This is these are what the Joy-Cons are. We got two Joy-Cons, the left Joy-Con, the right Joy-Con. Also the, we also got the, the screen. The screen on the back has a different redesign, like, for example, like, you know how the Nintendo Switch, when you play Table Time Mode, it was just that, like, one little peg here, but the OLED model replaced that with something here. Uh, say like when I'm playing in tabletop mode, for example. Sorry about this guys, the console is like pretty tight in there. Tightly sealed in there. That's gonna be hard to open, but we're gonna get to the joy cons. These are much easier to open. So, oh, this is what they feel like. They feel smooth as well. Then go see that one. This guy's. Like that guy's. And then goes the console itself. Probably pretty stuck in here. Managed to finally get it up, so uh, guys, say like, you know, here's tabletop mode. Just gotta pull this thing here, guys, so. This is what happens when you play it in tabletop mode. It has this big stand, instead of the old one. They also did change the slot for the micro SD card. Uh, so for uh, more convenience. And then uh, this is what happens when I put it in uh, handheld mode. This guy's when so I play in tabletop and handheld mode. So, yeah. And then, now let's unbox the other things. Uh, we got the HDMI cable, which obviously comes with it because this console requires an HDMI cable. And then uh, we also got the. Uh, something here, is it something to power the console? The AC adapter. Which took a. Oh, wait, no, no, no guys. Still same as the old one. I mean, it's a bit, it's gray. It has a different color, like the lighter black, or something lighter gray. This, cause my, the old model had a black power up. And then comes to the HDMI cable. So here's the HDMI cable, guys. Eh, well, it, does for TV mode. The AC adapter does for TV mode and handheld mode, you know, just to charge the console, as you know you get. And then, uh, next thing we also got is the, just like from the old model, which this is, a, uh, which is the Joy-Con grip, this is for TV mode or tabletop mode. Like, so like, um, let me slowly get them down. I don't want them there, so I can hold one. I 
And uh, just like from the old model, this is like this. This is how when you play. And then uh, another thing we also got is, forgot to mention, the dock. So um, this is the Nintendo Switch dock. Which is used to play in TV mode. So the I got the white one since... Uh, but there's also one in black with the neon joy cons and also the dock itself had a bit of a different redesign if you check back here guys look you know that way so it's much easier and then uh and uh it still has the two hdmi well usb ports from the original model and the uh, thing is much easier to open and uh instead of um like the original model which had a usb 3.0 for some reason it now has a lan cable well, just to play online, actually. Has the AC adapter and the HDMI cable. This thing can snap on much easier, but unlike the original model, which actually had this thing, like, you know, the thing that is hanging, it, this one actually pops open really easily. So, uh, yeah. And then, uh, let's just start up the console. Let's just get the console started up, so. It's gotta hold the power button. Oh yeah, baby. Listen to that. That's how we start up the console. So yeah. So um, since I've been a Nintendo Switch Online membership, actually, I'm actually gonna be transferring my old switch data to um, this here so yeah so pretty much anyways thanks for watching please like and subscribe and also question below comment below like do you have a Nintendo Switch or am I like if you do then tell me what it's like because I really wish I you can tell me your experience of what's it like to own this model here rather than an old one and you think like What's the difference between this versus the old model? I can try making a difference video for that. So, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Oh, and also, guys, uh, I forgot to mention I also got a bonus uh, Black Friday as well. So, uh, since it's discounted, but this was from the Cyber Mondays. Uh, so, I got the Doom Slayers collection, which included Doom uh, 1, which is from 1993, Doom 2 from 1994 or 95 doom 3 which came from uh 2010 and doom 64 1998 and the doom 2016 reboot so i'm still waiting for these games to download and yeah thanks for watching please like and subscribe